<clears throat> test, test, one, two, one, two. <clears throat> With foundations right around the corner, I want to take a moment to talk about the red cards that I'm most excited to be playing with when Foundations comes out in a few days. And the first among those cards is Rite of the Dragon Collar. Rite of the Dragon Collar is an enchantment that costs four colorless and two red that reads, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 5-5 flying dragon token. Now, this is a card that is kind of wild. I mean, it is a mythic rare, so it is going to be a little bit more on the harder to craft side. But I think for those of you who want to play a spell slinging strategy, this could be a huge payoff for you. If you play this in a Grixis or a um, or an Izet spell slinger deck, you can drop this on the table um, late game and just overwhelm your opponent with sheer draconic value. I mean, imagine you play something like a lightning bolt or a shock or a simple draw spell or an unsummon. Each time you're casting one of those spells, or even if you're copying spells with other cards, then you have an opportunity to just make more dragons. And each one is a 5-5 five, five flying red dragon. If your opponent doesn't deal with either you or that enchantment, it can be game over for them very fast. And that's why this is one of the cards that I am very excited to play once Foundations comes out. Next up on our list of cards I'm excited to play is an oldie, but a goodie. It's Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning, I can't believe this got reprinted. It's three red mana for a 6-1 haste trample creature that dies at end of turn but you don't need it to stick around. You just need it to punch your opponent in the face. That's what's so great about Ball Lightning. It's very easy, very basic. It's just pure old school red magic, and I'm really excited to see it. I mean, I can't really say much more about the card other than the fact that this is unexpected. It's very unexpected to see Ball Lightning in 2024 magic. I mean, hell, at this rate, might as well give us back a lightning bolt. <laughs> I mean, I mean, damn. Ball lightning, it's back. Let's play it. Next up on our list is another reprint, but not such an old one. Next up is Gutter Snipe. Gutter Snipe is a great creature. For two colors and a red mana, you get a 2-2 Goblin Shaman. There is whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, Gutter Snipe deals two damage to target opponent. Again, another really good card for those spell slinger archetypes. It really feels like Wizards is setting us up pretty well for a really fun um, is at future. And just like I said earlier with the um, with the dragon enchantment, like every other card that you th just start slinging out of your hand turns into shock after shock after shock. I mean, even if you're casting something like burst lightning or lightning bolt, it's like do you. Calculate that damage plus an additional two. Gutter Snipe is a reprint that I'm very happy to see. A card that I used to play with quite a bit, and I plan on playing quite a bit more. So, welcome back, Gutter Snipe. Next up is a reprint from the Mirrodin era of magic, and this is Slagstorm. It's a Carlos and two red sorcery, and it deals three damage to each creature or to each player. You just choose one. So, you can use it to clear the board or you can use it to clear an opponent off the board. It's a really cool version of a, um, of a popular board wipe archetype. And it, it's in the exact same mana as Brotherhood's End, deals the exact same amount of damage to all the creatures on the board. The only trade-off here is with Brotherhood's End, it can clear the board of pesky artifacts, whereas this one can clear the board of pesky players. So. Use that as your metric to choose whether you want to play Brotherhood's End or Slagstorm. Or hell, you could play both. I mean, they're both the same mana cost. Why not? And last on our list of red cards that I'm super excited to be playing with is Bolt Wave. Bolt Wave is a sorcery that costs one red mana that deals three damage to each opponent. It's really simple, really basic. It's just one red mana. Pow, three damage to your opponent's face. And also, don't forget, 
This is just a one mana spell that would pair very well with any of the prowess creatures with gutter snipe, the dragon enchantment. Like, is that spells is already a real deck and it just gets better with cards like bolt wave coming into standard. So I'm really excited to play it. And as much as I'm not really a big proponent of red, I'm more of a control player. I'm excited to see cards like bolt wave come in because it just, it, it, it's the kind of thing to blow the meta open. It's like it, a meta is at its best when every archetype has a chance to shine, when it's not just held in place by a sim single control strategy or a single aggro strategy. It's like when you have X amount of decks that you can play and try out at any given time, like we do right now with standard, I mean, it's just, it makes the game more interesting, you know? So I'm pretty excited to see Bolt Wave come back. So that's my list of the red cards that I'm really excited to play with once Foundations goes live. But now I'd like to take an opportunity to turn the camera around and ask you, what are some of the cards that you are really excited to play? So let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe your list is wildly different from mine, or maybe you even agree with me on some of my takes. So either way, let me know. I'm curious. And if you got any value out of this, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. So until next time, I'll take care of yourselves.